Hi, I'm Lindsay Legrand with VDOT Richmond District Communications Office, and I'm here to talk about the I-95 Temple Avenue interchange here. Um, I've got Janet Hedrick with us today, and Janet's the project manager for the project, and if you weren't able to attend the meeting last night, she's going to talk a little bit about what is going to happen with the interchange project and what folks might expect to see. Janet, for folks who weren't able to attend the meeting last night, how does a roundabout work, and what can folks expect to see in the future? The roundabout is going to improve the traffic flow for this intersection and it's also going to improve safety. Um, the speed limit in a roundabout is very slow. It's like 23 miles an hour that people are driving through the roundabout. So it, it, if there are accidents in a roundabout, typically they're just you know minor accidents and you know there's no injuries. So the way this roundabout is going to function is We've got the inside lane, which is really like the lane that people will get into to get into the interstate. So if you're coming um, from any direction, if you get into the inside lane, that's the one that's going to take you off onto an interstate ramp. You get, it's got like two lanes through most of it. The outside roundabout lane will take you anywhere on the side streets on Temple Avenue. So it's kind of simple in that way if you can process that, but um, to look at it, it, it looks a little, you know, unwary, you know, for people who haven't been driving in roundabouts, which is pretty typical for our area. So signage is going to be key for this project when we start it up. We also have bypass lanes all around the roundabout. So if you just want to turn right, you don't even enter the roundabout. You just get into the bypass lane. If you want to go through, you just get into the bypass lane and stay there. You don't enter the roundabout. And then also the right turn going to the interstate from, um, from the boulevard. So if you want to go to the mall, you just get right on over there and go. It's mostly to facilitate um, helping us with those left turn lanes for our traffic that's trying to get to the interstate during the peak hours when we have the most problems. Okay, thank you, Janet. And also for folks who weren't able to attend the meeting, is there a way for them to get in contact with you if they do have questions about the Roundabout Project? Yes, please. Um, my email address is available and my address. So you can mail comments or email comments to me and please have them in by September 22nd, which is the closing period for the public hearing comments. We had the meeting last night on September 12, 2013. What happens from here once we've compiled all the comments? Well, first of all, I will respond to all the comments and the design team will help me and we'll submit those to the state engineer to get design approval. Um, then we will proceed once we get design approval to bring the contractor on board. And this is a design build contract. So it's going to take a while to get a contractor on board, and we anticipate that in October of next year, October 2014. And once he's on board, our schedule shows that we should have construction complete by June 2017.